All right, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Mole Trap here, coming at you with another interview. And uh, with me, I have none other than uh, you're gonna have to correct me if I mess this up again. Alexei Krupnik, is that how you say it? Yes, correct. Alexei Krupnik. All right, there you go. Uh, you probably know him better as White Raw, or uh, you know if you've seen any uh, um, replays around with the name Duckload Raw. That's this guy as well. White Raw is, of course, one of the most old school figures in the StarCraft community. He played Brood War for a long, long time. If you haven't uh, heard of him, then, uh, well, uh, you know, you're going to hear of him now. Uh, I'm here at the NASL Finals to give him a little bit of an interview. So uh, why don't we start off with, uh, tell us, how are you doing? And uh, you've been doing a lot of traveling lately, MLG. You're here at the NASL. Uh, tell us what you think about the NASL and coming to California. Uh, hello, hello everyone. Uh, I'm happy uh, coming to play and play and NASL and stay in USA near one month. I have uh, very big support for um, StarCraft 2 community, USA community. And of course I need uh, comment for these uh, two huge events. And uh, I enjoy my time in California. Um, it uh, don't matter, I lost. Uh, I uh, play not good, uh, select play better and uh, him deserve him win but I continue practice continue play and uh, in future show my uh, best game er, and more special tactics more special ta you heard it here folks he's assuring us he's gonna give us some more special tactics I know I was rooting for you yesterday in the crowd so I'm um, sorry you didn't win as well but uh, you are gonna be going to MLG Anaheim is that correct yeah MLG Anaheim I take part in uh, IPL Pro League and uh, after MLG Anaheim, I take part in SMB tournament in Finland and hope uh, take part in Battle.net uh, tournament in Europe. Excellent. All right, now uh, this is a question that uh, has been uh, weighing on my mind. I want to ask you uh, about this because you are widely regarded in the StarCraft community as being one of the nicest guys that there are. Everyone, you know, everyone is always saying, oh, why Ra, he's so manner, he's so nice all the time. Uh, you always go out of your way to be polite in games and that kind of thing. So, uh, what is the secret to your success? Why are you such a happy guy? It just culture, I think. Uh, my culture and uh, I older than most of players and uh, think uh, if you uh, sometimes very angry and uh, can say bad words uh, or write bad words, it's uh, not good. Not, by, uh, not good for you, f f for example, because uh, all bad words are bad uh, but uh, something what you make bad in life back to you uh, after some month years anyway it's ba back for you so better stay it's a minor person and uh, enjoy real life and uh, of course help uh, community uh, making starcraft too much better more interest and uh, it's uh, show people when you show good manner what uh, cyber sports play not on the ch children all right, good stuff. That makes a lot of sense. Um, now, going back, I was talking about MLG Anaheim uh, briefly. I remember you were telling me before how you thought there were too many Koreans here, and uh, you know, Koreans obviously took MLG Columbus, uh, you know, you know, the top three spots. How do you feel about um, <coughs> competing against Koreans at MLG Han Anaheim and and other events coming up? Uh, I say as before and say it's many times Korean uh, a little bit ahead for rest uh, foreigners because we spent uh, more much more time in uh, practice uh, play 12 and more hours in day uh, only f practice and uh, in Europe you say most of um, uh, famous players uh, uh, who show good game before and uh, show now have uh, real life like uh, girls wife family many friends and they can't spend uh, so much time for practice but sometimes we uh, we can practice nine hours in day but maybe it's not all weeks maybe three four days so it's big difference between uh, korean and uh, non-korean uh, players because uh, korean it's style style uh, korean life like much uh, spend much time to practice and uh, maybe six months, one year, and so only practice, 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 practice. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, excellent. So um, real quick then, just to follow that up before we move on to another topic, how do you feel about traveling? I you know you said you kind of like California. Do you like going all sorts of places, or is there 
uh, somewhere specific you like to go? And also, what do you think about the NASL event? Has this stacked up against other events that you've been to? Because you've been to a ton of events around the world. Um, I like playing here, but I think it's next season the NASL need to change uh, rules because uh, uh, we have here a single elimination. Maybe better make group stage uh, and after single or uh, double elimination because community can uh, see many games and players who lost ha can second chance because I spent uh, many time uh, come here and uh, play with select I lost him but uh, I not have second chance uh, make him back and of course in first place it's good money but uh, it's help our price pool and people who play to mouth uh, spend many time nervous uh, wake up and 4 p.m. Uh, 4 a.m. sorry 6 a.m. and they come in here and uh, not get uh, big price pool money just all uh, all money get first and second place and I think it's not fair because all players spend many time for practice and uh, they deserve more yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, and we do all appreciate, by the way, you coming all the way out here um, from Europe to uh, show us some games. Uh, I'm going to switch gears a little bit here. I want to ask you, you've been doing pretty well uh, by yourself, uh, getting some sponsors, you know, working with Duckload, TTE Sports sponsoring you. Um, is that going to turn into something where you're going to have, like, a team? Are you going to try and bring more people in on the sponsorships? Or are you just going to stay uh, doing things on your own? Or, you know, how does that work for you? What do you have in the future? Uh, yeah. For my life, I am, uh, take part in many professional teams like MAM, uh, Mouse Sponsor, PG, uh, and many, many uh, rest. And uh, I make decision uh, play only using Vetra. And Vetra is like name, um, my name is like brand. I play it too many years and I no need team. A uh, sponsor can support me and uh, I can practice with my friends. I have a lot of friends in Europe, uh, USA, Rest County, and um, I no need uh, team for for it. So better for me uh, work uh, uh, by myself and work with my sponsor. We um, maybe in future make uh, some products together, uh, like mouse pad, beta mouse pad, mouse uh, with TT Sport, and I think. Uh, StarCraft 2 community and RTS game community and maybe it's uh, not only RTS players and race players uh, like this product because I spent too many time in uh, pre-gaming and know uh, what need for gamers. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense also. Uh, I've said that like three times this interview, but uh, that'd be great, man. I'd, I'd love to play on a white rock keyboard. That'd be awesome. Um, all right, uh, so a couple more things. I'm going to get a couple questions from people that asked me to ask you online and on Reddit and such. So uh, one, when someone wanted to know, I know a lot of people are interested in this. You mentioned this earlier. What uh, new special tactics do you have in store for us in the future? Yeah, the talk. Uh, I think about it and talk. Uh, it's uh, maybe a drop Archons and to Sentry, like block uh, block workers. Oh. Yeah, block workers uh, and uh, they can't run. So before. Uh, enemy uh, army try back to main and defense uh, minion land one archon can kill all props and all uh, scv all drones i think it can work but anyway it's new testing it's in testing all right well hopefully uh maybe at mlg we'll see uh white rod dropping sentries to trap workers and killing with archons that would be that would be pretty awesome um and that's something i've always enjoyed about your style too is you come up with different stuff so that's that's fun to watch um, all right, I think that's going to about do it. Do you have any um, shout-outs you want to give to your sponsors or whatever? Uh, you understand you're going to be streaming more. Uh, do you have Twitter or anything like that? And just any words for your fans? Yeah, of course. Uh, um, first of all, I always say thanks, thank you for my support. I have uh, really big support for, uh, from StarCraft 2 community and not only for StarCraft 2 community. There's many people support me. And I continue make uh, my uh, first person streams uh, special for uh, all these people. And uh, maybe I uh, can uh, make my stream three times a week. I think it's good. And of course, thank you for my sponsor, uh, TT Sport Ashrock And uh, first of all, I want to say big thanks uh, to Ashrock and uh, they sponsoring this my trip in the USA. And uh, I very appreciate it.
Excellent. All right. Well, uh, thank you very much, White, for, right, White Raw, for the interview. And again, those of you that do want to uh, watch his stream, I'm going to go ahead and put links to his stream and to his Facebook page in the description of this YouTube video. So uh, thanks again, White Raw, and uh, best of luck in the future. Yeah, thank you very much, and see you. Take care. Thanks for watching.